evening. You are now watching the latest news for November 2. Finance Minister Lim Guan Eng said that his ministry will allocate 210 million ringgit from 2019 to 2021 to help small and medium enterprises SME to move towards Industry 4.0. He explained that Malaysia Productivity Corporation MPC will implement and carry out the readiness assessment program to help 500 SME companies to move to Industry 4.0 technology. He said this during the tabling of Budget 2019 in Dewan Rakyat. Pertama, dana pembiayaan PKS oleh institusi kewangan komersial sebanyak RM4.5 bilion ringgit dengan 60% jaminan skim SJPP termasuk RM1 bilion ringgit untuk PKS Muin Putra. He said this during the tabling of Budget 2019 in Dewan Rakyat. He added that in order to encourage SME to invest in automation and modernization in line with Industry 4.0, as much as RM2 billion ringgit will be provided under Skim Jaminan Pembiayaan Perniagaan SJPP, wherein the government will provide investment insurance of up to 70%. On another note, Finance Minister Lim Guan Eng said that commercial financial institutes will finance an investment fund for SME companies for as much as 4.5 billion ringgit with 60% SJPP insurance, including 1 billion ringgit for Bumiputra SME. He added that companies with income tax of 500,000 ringgit and below and SME companies with paid up capital of less than 2.5 million ringgit will have their corporate income tax reduced from 18% to 17%. Kedua, bagi syarikat yang berpendapatan bercukai sehingga rm ringgit dan dengan model berbayar kurang daripada RM2.5 juta ringgit, kadar cukai pendapatan korporat akan dikurangkan daripada 18% kepada 17%. He also said that an allocation of 100 million ringgit will be given to upgrade SME's abilities in the halal industry to improve exports and thus realizing Malaysia's vision to become a global halal hub nearing 2020. Keempat, memperuntukkan 100 juta ringgit bagi menambah baik keupayaan industri PKS dalam industri halal untuk meningkatkan ekspor dan seterusnya merilisasikan impian Malaysia untuk menjadi hub halal global menjelang 2020. He said this during the tabling of Budget 2019 in Dewan Rakyat. He further said that Permodalan Usahawan Nasional Berhad will provide an allocation of 200 million ringgit for the wholesale and retail industry, as well as a 100 million ringgit allocation for Tekun to fund small entrepreneurs. Menggalakkan ekspor menerusi pembiayaan oleh Exim Bank dengan menawarkan kemudahan kredit dan perlindungan takaful kepada pengekspor PKS berjumlah as part of Harapan's targeted subsidy initiative, Finance Minister Lim Guan Eng says the government will subsidize fuel for single car owners with an engine capacity below 1,500cc or motorcycle with an engine capacity below 125cc. He said that through the mechanism, the government will provide a subsidy of 30 cents per litre for RON 95, limited to 100 litres per month for a car and 40 litres for a motorcycle. Ketiga, Pakatan Harapan melalui manifestonia telah berjanji untuk memberi subsidi minyak secara bersasar kepada pemilik kereta persendirian dengan kapasiti enjin 1,300cc dan ke bawah atau pemilik motosikal 125cc dan ke bawah. Atas rasa keprihatinan, kerajaan telah memutuskan untuk menambah baik janji tersebut dengan memberi subsidi kepada pihak memiliki sebuah kereta yang berkapasiti enjin 1,500cc dan ke bawah atau motosikal berkapasiti enjin 125cc dan ke bawah. Melalui mekanisme ini, kerajaan akan memberi subsidi petrol RON95 sebanyak 30 sen selita terhad kepada 100 liter sebulan bagi kereta atau 40 liter bagi motosikal. Mekanisme baru ini dijangka bermula pada suku kedua 2019. Untuk ini, dua bilion ringgit diperuntukkan dan dijangka dapat memanfaatkan seramai 4 juta pemilik kereta dan 2.6 juta pemilik motosikal. Bagi meningkatkan kecekapan penggunaan sumber di samping membentuk ketirisan berikutan perbezaan harga minyak dan penghidupan rentas sempadan, Kerajaan akan mengapungkan semula harga 
petrol RON95 di pasaran berdasarkan Automatic Price Mechanism APN selepas subsidi minyak secara bersasar ini dilaksanakan. He added that this new mechanism with an allocation of 2 billion ringgit is expected to start in the second quarter of 2019 and will benefit 4 million car owners and 2.6 million motorcycle owners. He further said that the government will once again float the price of RON95 based on the automatic price mechanism APM. That has been the latest news for now. I am Razi Ahmad and thank you for watching.